Good luck on my video. Start out me driving my pickup. I will. Just the way life is, right? We're gonna go change us a tire this morning. It's rainy and nasty, but I don't need shit. I get this done. I got a lot of work to do today. I'm trying to get my third truck on the road. Gotta get it cleaned up. Get the motors Monday. I'm not exactly sure how long before I get licensed, but we'll see what happens. I find it hard to want to video stuff sometimes. Of course, I'm not doing a real good job of it anyway, but still, that's not the point. This truck is loaded. <clears throat> I hate coming to jack up a loaded truck, but we're going to see. This tire is wearing really bad. That tire is really good doing yeah, it was used. When you're on an operator and you're running on your own, you do what you gotta do. You can see this tire is about done. That's okay because I got a replacement for it right back there. Oh my goodness. We'll get it all taken care of. It's actually a pretty decent treaded tire. Alright, well, I turned off my Diesel Creek video to, to record this, so next time I get back to listen to Diesel Creek while I do this. When I go to jack up a loaded truck, like drop that landing gear down. Gives you a little extra support. Oh, looks like we had a lug nut loose. Exactly what I was talking about before. See that streaking? There's two of them, let's see. We'll take care of it. I'm calling. Great A bullshit. There should not be a lug nut on this truck because this gun can't break loose. I've had to break up my torque multiplier. What's bad is, you know, I had some rusty streaks, which the driver didn't tell me about. Of course, I didn't go back and do a check with me, but it would be all right. We'll link to it. But this tire was put on at a shop. They did my brakes and wheel seals. If I ain't doing my damn brakes some more, I ain't going to do it. I can do it myself a hell of a lot cheaper. I don't even want to tell you what it costs me to get brakes and wheel seals all the way around on the back of this thing. I'm not going to tell you. But I'm just going to tell you this. It cost me... Less than a hundred dollars for a set of brakes, and I did all four on that flat top over there. Actually, I did them all the way around on that flat top, and the front brakes were cheaper than the drive brakes. So, I have less than three hundred dollars tied up in brakes on that truck. This one, I have about three or four times that much. You know, I ain't gonna tell you exactly, but there's quite a bit. Anyhow, there's no reason that fucking lug nut should be that tight, and the other ones be loose. I was gonna come back and bring one of my kids with me and try to load this heavy sun buck up. I think we're gonna try something a little different. I can manage it in two pieces. It's just a little much to handle for one in one piece. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this V4 speed tool. I wish I could set my phone up and video it, but uh, I really don't like being on camera. I tell you, I ain't really know where good to put it. So anyway. I'll show you the actual results. Well, we're going to go ahead and make an attempt to try to record this. See if I can get my phone set up. Oh, yeah. It's starting to get rained on a little bit. More.
dealing with a little bit of a rusty wheel situation. I don't know how this is going to go. A bit of a learning curve. Tell you what, let's put a little lube on it before we start. It's pretty rusty. It's like the best lube in the world, but it's wet. It's all like an answer. thing is rusty big time ain't got enough ass for it come on She goes. I guess I'm gonna rest real quick. See if I can get the lock in. Here's the problem I've been running into with this thing. Grabbing the backside bead doesn't always grab. Seems like you gotta prop it up a little bit, so we're gonna try that. In principle, the tool works. That one's got some defects. One side of the legs come out every time. Can't keep it in there square. You know, it doesn't release all the way like it should. And grabbing the backside beats pain in the ass sometimes. That's why I put the block under it and it worked. It could be better. It could be worse. But mission accomplished, we got it all. And that's all that matters. Now it's time to load it up. To be fair to the bore, this wheel's pretty rusty. This tire's got all kinds of shit in it. How rusty the beads are. How rusty that wheel is. I'm not gonna cut people out all together. They've done all right. It's been brought to my attention that I haven't showed y'all what we call the one mark here. Yeah, don't mind the mess. I'm working on deep cleaning it. It's terrible inside. Both of them two sleeper coats off of a farmer who did not take care of shit. Which is typical farmer behavior. I have since been cleaning on it. Not even close to being done. But while well, my brother was gone, he didn't want to be on video, so I figured I'd show you what I've done so far. This is a 2005 9400. Oh, it's an eye or not, but it's an eagle package. Has it on the door. That's the wrong door panel there. Anyhow, um, it's got an ISX, 400 doors, heat and 10 speed. At the moment, it's straight pipe. It may stay straight pipe for a little while, but that ain't gonna last. But you can see it, it's been invested with mice and rats, and very well abused. It's got a nasty uh, little dirt spot for no reason. Let's go out and look on the outside real quick. Like I said, it used to be a Walmart truck. I was driving it down. It's like, it's got hood things, but it's very easy. It's not perfect, but no means.
truck. No, no, five, no more than a gate for it. I can't really see it. It does run. Under that big old straight pipe. I think we're just going to fix the flex pipe on it right now. It has governed to 65 and has been for its whole life. That motor's never reached over 1500, 1600 RPM. It's got 700 and something thousand original miles. I hell this just look. It has 715,256 original miles. It's a Walmart truck. Just pretty rough and views quite a bit. We're gonna take care of that. We're gonna clean it up, make it pretty again. Now that'll be about the end of this video. I may make another one after I get lettered. We'll see.